The Reno Tahoe Airport Authority is expanding its ground transportation center. A decision made a few years ago to improve public parking by 600 spaces, increase rental car operations, and ride-sharing options. In 2018, our Board of Trustees identified a location that we can build a future ground transportation center, and that location is where we have some properties and buildings, which is at 1280 Terminal Way. Which is property owned by the airport, but home to many business owners. Now fast forward to 2022, we let all of those tenants know that we were moving forward and that was going to mean that we were going to end our leases with them eventually. So we wanted to give them as much time as we possibly could. Following a commercial and financial agreement with the airport's private public partnership, they decided to move forward with the ground transportation plans. On May 31st of 2024, we let our tenants know at that building that we were going to, we were going to be ending their leases on August 31st. So that's a 90 day notice that we gave all of our tenants. We're getting uh, basically uh, imposed to, to shut down for business, for business. Said Tony Figueroa, owner of Albita's restaurant, who has been serving the community for nearly 30 years. But the airport claims they're offering financial compensation for their tenants. We offer all of our tenants a, a rent abatement. So that's basically just waived rent, free rent for our tenants because we didn't want the financial side of things to be what's hurting them. We want them to be able to have some sort of relief as they make new moves. There are 24 businesses being impacted by the airport expansion. And 23 out of the 24, business owners have agreed to the rent abatement and have already started moving out. But one of the business owners we spoke to says it's too expensive to relocate in Reno. It's, it's out of our range, money-wise. Um, in what is going on in Reno right now, uh, as far as rents, um, we just can't. We, 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 we can't promise something that we're not going to be able to achieve. What happens if they decide not to move? If they do not vacate the building by August 31st, we would have to send an eviction notice. We hope that that doesn't happen. We hope that everybody agrees. Construction is expected to begin next year, but the final product won't be done until 2028. Reporting in Reno, Nick Doyle, Quillow 8 News.